What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Elgato green screen unit here. The all-in-one solution for having a professional looking green screen, whether you're streaming on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, anything like that, making your keying effects 10 times simpler. Now, as you saw in that intro, yes, it is extremely easy and simple to set up, which is a huge selling point when it comes to finding a green screen out there that you wanna use for when you're streaming. So what's the deal? Is this legit and is it worth your money? We'll find that out for you guys today. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about the setup and how simple it is. Then we're gonna head over to the PC and show you guys how to do it in OBS to get that keyed effect. All very simple. First off, on the back side here underneath, you're gonna see these 360 revolving legs. This is gonna be your first step. Fold these outward. Each of these feet are 17 inches long. They revolve 360 degrees on the bottom and they are wide enough to support the overall weight for this. After that, undo both of the latches, flip open the top, and you'll see a little handle there. All you have to do is just pull that all the way up and it'll immediately lock into place. And zoom everything out for a wide shot to show you real quick um, how it is from behind. You can see once you uh, bring it all the way up with this bracket mechanism in the back, it all locks into place when it's all the way up top. Then you can just push it back down when you're not using it. Really that simple. It's literally all done for you. Put it behind you while you're streaming, make sure the lighting looks good, and you will then begin to start keying it out. Now, I have a 1080p Logitech webcam that I use, so yes, the higher the resolution webcam you use, the better it's gonna be for achieving a nice green screen look. I'll put my webcam in the description down below for you guys. But either way, you're gonna be able to achieve a pretty good green screen if you have the right gear. Now, as for the width of this, it is, 57 inches wide, so depending on how you frame your webcam, it should fit definitely um, inside the frame if you have it right behind your chair or something like that while you're streaming. Now, let's head over to the PC. I'll show you guys pretty much how to set that up inside OBS. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick, you know, how to do this stuff real time, how to set it up with the chroma key and the green screen, stuff like that. Really simple, um, as you can see behind me, I have the desk back there and it's just extremely messy and not something I'd be proud of to show off while I'm streaming. So this is where the green screen's gonna come in handy. I'll show you guys real quick. I just have it right here behind me. All you do, you lift it up like that and now we're gonna begin. So this uh, the green screen is back there. I only have one light on over here and my desk lamp over to the sides. So you couldn't improve things with lighting, but uh, just real quick just to show you, we're gonna right click on the webcam here and go to the filters for it. Um, I do have it uh, inverted, so it's more you know aesthetically pleasing because I'm facing uh, towards the screen, but you don't have to worry about that. Go to the little add button here in OBS. We're gonna go to chroma key. And by default, yeah, there you go. It's gonna be green. You can kind of sort of mess with some of the uh, like little details and stuff here. Like for smoothness, we're probably gonna take in just a little, little bit to get a better idea on the bottom there of how it's gonna look. And honestly, you don't wanna mess with too much. Let me bump the contrast a little, little bit. Um, as you can see here, this is really what it's taking out is the color similarity. So this is it like way, uh, way down. You can see the green, it just slowly starts to fade away. And that's gonna look pretty good, just like that right there. And as you can see, in a matter of just a few seconds, that took me like, what, three seconds to lift up the green screen, go into your webcam settings and OBS there with the chroma key filter. And just like that, it's all set and you're ready to go. I better see some awesome green screen pictures on uh, Twitter with this background, so. All right, so now for the most important part of the review and the reason you went to YouTube to look for this is my thoughts and opinions on the Elgato green screen. And it does retail for $150. And that first thought, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's kind of too expensive. But take a look at the competition. There really is none out there, nothing like this at least. Yes, there are cheaper made ones on Amazon you can find from like $20 to $50, but you get what you pay for. They are a very thin and a very cheap material to use those green screens. Plus, you need materials and stands to mount the green screen, you know, to get the clips to have it mounted so it's all nice and flat. And by the time that's all said and done, you're looking anywhere from like $75 to $100 for all that. Plus, you have to break that down and set it up each time you wanna use it and find place to store all that stuff. That's kind of annoying, but with this, it's that all-in-one unit, it retracts, it folds up, and it's all done. You saw how easy it was, it took me like five seconds. That simple. But perhaps the biggest point I'm gonna make here that I think people are going to overlook when it comes to something like this is those cheaper ones from Amazon or those green screens that you have to set up. Those are highly susceptible to getting creases and wrinkles and you know, getting those little bends and stuff in them. 
And that is extremely annoying, especially when it comes to those cheaper materials, those creases and bends aren't easy to get out. And when it comes to time where you set it up and you're trying to uh, key that out, those creases begin to make shadows. It just makes it a lot harder in the end to achieve a nice looking green screen when everything is, has these creases and these wrinkles in it if you don't put it away like flawlessly. With this, it avoids all of that. It's a nicer thick material. It gets folded up when you retract it, kind of like a poster does. So there are no creases, are no wrinkles. And that right there, I think is just a huge selling point. And that's why I can appreciate this. That's why I think it's one of the best ones out there at that price point. Yes, it's kind of, you know, wide and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, if this is gonna be, if you're streaming in your bedroom, when you fold it all up, you slide it under your bed or fold it up and, you know, put it up against your wall or in the corner of your room. It is so much smaller than having a dedicated green screen plus all the sands and stuff like that. And for $150, I think that's well justified. And I'm really pumped that Elgato pulled something like this off. That takes less than five seconds to set up. So guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. I'm a big fan of it. And if you wanna check it out, I will put it for you in the description down below. If you're a streamer or anything like that, you wanna get into it, this is well worth the money. If you liked my review, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.